Hi, I'm Knorr, and thanks to uh, some people at Blizzard that likes Blood Bowl, I got into the Hearthstone uh, beta a uh, week or so ago, uh, which was mostly excellent, uh, but I realized that once I started streaming some of it, that most of you uh, are not in the beta, first of all, which is a shame, it'll be awesome when it comes out proper. Uh, but secondly, not everyone actually knows how it works, so I thought I'd try and do a quick tutorial uh, for the basics of the game. Now, please note that I am not super good at collective card games, nor am I amazing at Hearthstone. I have, however, played enough of it to know, well, the basics, so that's what I'm gonna show you. Basically gonna do this by ear, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> this is the menu screen, we have a few different things here. If you're watching people on Twitch, they are usually playing the Arena which uh, costs a hundred and... well, you'll see. Yeah. So you can either pay to get into the arena or you pay with in-game gold. You earn in-game gold by completing uh, different, uh, what they call, quests. Or you can pay admi uh, You can pay for 150, so that's how much I left. So now I get to play in the arena once. Uh, they will, ran I think, randomly. Let me choose one or three heroes, and then once you've done that, you get to build a deck. We're not going to do that now, I just wanted to show you how how this kind of works, because, well, I'll be honest, I don't want to... Uh, you can go in and out of this, by the way, so you don't have to play the arena all the time if you don't want to, and uh, whenever I come back again, it's gonna let me pick up from where I left off. Uh, I was talking about quests before, this is, well, look how awesome I am. Uh, this is basically it, you can see here that I have four quests that I can do, and if I complete them, I get gold. So basically, you can play this game and not have to play, pay any real money. Uh, to get into the arena. You, either you're good enough in the arena, or you're like me, where you're not yet, and then you uh, have to do some quests to uh, get your gold back up, and then you get to play in the arena. Uh, that's it. Let's go into practice mode. Uh, currently, there are nine different heroes you can uh, choose between. Uh, they are different in the sense that they have, well, they have their own set of cards. You can only, you build a deck by using general cards and whatever class you're playing, but they also have a hero power, so the wall rock, uh, the warrior here has an armor up, which means he gains two armor. Armor is basically life, um, which I'll explain in a bit, and the shaman has a totem the uh, rogue can equip a weapon, and the paladin can heal yourself, and let's see, some called the mage can deal one damage for two mana. I think all of them cost, yeah, all of them cost two mana. So I'm gonna pick the mage here because it's basically the only one I've uh, had any playtime with, and it's also apparently probably the easiest one to under get to understand. And we're gonna, let's see, let's uh, play against a warrior. Okay, so when the game starts, you get three cards, and uh, throws a coin if you go first. I don't like it either of these. Usually what happens, at least from what I've seen and played, is that you want to try and get... Um, oh, actually, I should explain this first. Up here, this is the mana cost. The mana in the game works the way that on your first turn you have one mana, on your second turn you have two mana, and then third turn three mana, and so on, up till ten mana, and that's the max you can have. Uh, so, once you get up to 10 mana, I guess mana doesn't... It's not that mana doesn't matter as much, but you can at least play all the cards... You can at least play every card in your hand at the start of the turn. Or you can play... You get what I'm saying. However, early on, you want to have smaller mana cost cards so you can, you know, put something out there. Uh, so, I'm gonna replace all of these. And it'll put them back in my deck, and I'll get three new ones instead. And I got some smaller ones, which is nice. Um, okay, so start a game. Uh, pretty simple. Here's the mana track I talked about before. Uh, I've got one mana currently, and I have four cards. You draw one card every turn, and you have 30 cards in your deck. If you're out of cards, you're out of cards. Uh, the most important bit, of course, is your hero. Once your hero is down to zero life points, you lose, sir. So what you want to do is you want to, well, hurt your opponent. <laughs> before uh, time's up, basically. Uh, as you can see, I've only got one mana, so I can play either of these cards. This is a spell, of course, and, well, it does what it says on the tin. 
And this is a minion. Minions go out on the board. And if you've played Magic before, uh, you know that, well, they work the same way. They come in tapped, which means that you can't attack with them, but you can attack next turn. In other card games, um, like Magic, uh, you can, when you're, uh, when it's your opponent's turn, decide if you want to block um, minions running in to do damage to you. You can't in this game, uh, which is a bit different. There is, however, an ability on some creatures called Taunt, which we'll see shortly, and that means enemies must attack this minion before it, do before it attacks anything else. Of course, there are some spells that can negate this, but for the most part, Taunt is good if you want to make sure that uh, your opponent isn't going to attack you. Uh, so it's my turn, and uh, I could play this Bloodfen Raptor, which is cost two, uh, and it has a three attack and a two life. This minion I have out currently, the Merlock Raider, only has one life and it has two attack. So if I was to attack this Raider here, since in this game uh, minions do uh, damage to each other at the same time, uh, they would both be gone from the battlefield. I don't want that, so instead I'm going to use my hero power, which does one damage to whatever I hit. Do that, and now I have board control. And then I'm going to end my turn. Uh, what I've learned playing a bit of Hearthstone is that I'm usually, I love to put cards on the board, which is, as far as I know, a pretty bad strategy for collectible card games usually. Uh, you don't want to just mash everything out there because there are a lot of board clearing cards and stuff like that, and you'll just loose out on all your dudes. So, usually it's better to not put everything out at the same time. Also, card draw is important because it's very easy to top deck in this game, and I've been told that top decking is when uh, you're out of cards in your hand, so the only card you can play on your turn is the one you pick up from the deck. That's bad because it doesn't give you any flexibility. Um, and now I'm gonna play for a bit and hopefully beat this AI and you'll see how it ends. Oh, and one more thing. Um, I said before that creatures come in tapped. This is true unless they have the ability charge, which means they can attack the same turn they come out. Uh, there are of course a bunch more abilities than taunt and charge, but I feel like this is basic and those are the basics ones and I don't wanna explain everything. So uh, if you know those two, you should be able to follow along. And uh, we are back. Um, I've played a few turns, uh, and uh, he has a definite uh, mini advantage on me right now. Uh, but the thing with uh, Hearthstone is that he also hasn't done any damage to me. Uh, but the main thing is that, well, uh, he doesn't have a taunt here, so I can attack his hero freely, and these guys can't do anything. And he has two armor currently and uh, one life. I can do six with my uh, Boulder Frist Ogre, and I can do one with my Fire Blast. So all I have to do to be defeat him is this. And then you get this lovely animation, and you level up, and it's lovely. Now this is against AI, of course I don't really get anything other than my, well, level increase. Um, but... Uh, that is pretty much it. Hopefully, this has been a very brief tutorial. And, uh, well, I don't want to give you anything more because I don't think I'm qualified to give you anything more currently. But I am going to play this some more and I am going to stream it. If you want to see some, uh, some of me playing this semi, well, okay, I guess, uh, give me a shout out in the comments. And uh, uh, thanks to the lovely people at Blizzard uh, for giving me access to the beta. It's been really fun so far, and it's a very addictive game. Um, see you soon.